St. Benedict was uh, uh, founder of 12 monasteries. He died in 547. And uh, during his lifetime, he wrote a rule for monks living communally under the authority of an abbot. His model was based on family and his concern was to provide for the needs of monks in a community environment. He wanted, his goal was to provide a spiritual father, the abbot, who would guide and support spiritual growth. He knew that this is what human life is all about, that the fulfillment of the human vocation, not just for monks, is growing spiritually in relationship with God. He knew there was a need among the monks to establish order. And he also wanted to help them to understand the relational nature of human beings. His rule was intended to lead to the transforming effect of grace in the lives of the monks by being disposed properly, by being open and submissive to God's will. Benedict might say it that it was about balancing work and prayer as a path to peace. In the book of Hosea today, the last uh, reading that we'll be hearing from this book this year, which was beautifully proclaimed for us by Rachel Keeler, who serves as associate minister in the two parishes in which I'm assigned, um, it provides, this reading provides reassurance that turning to God as the true author and authority of life will lead to fulfillment and spiritual fruitfulness. In Matthew's Gospel, we know that it was written 50 years after the death and resurrection of Jesus, and so it naturally reflects some of the experiences of the apostles. Very challenging times to proclaim God's word. As we strive in our lives today to do God's will, which includes for all of us the call and obligation to share the good news, we inevitably face challenges on this journey. Our Archbishop here in Boston, Cardinal Sean O'Malley, regularly exhorts his priests to have a rule of life. To his advice, I would add that of my greatest spiritual director ever, my mother, who always told us in our family to seek balance in our lives. A rule of life, like the rule of St. Benedict, like a, a rule for any of us that we can have, a spiritual practice, will help us, something that we all need, to maintain a balance between all of the things that compete for our time and attention, so that we can be centered in God's generous and loving spirit that promises to guide and protect us no matter what challenges we face in life. And so as we come together to listen to God's word, to be fed by the word of life, to experience communion with one another. Uh, we turn to God asking that God will clear away all those things that will pull us off balance and will, that we will be able to be open and submissive to God's will. And in this way, we can achieve the fulfillment of our destiny to grow spiritually to live in harmony with God and in communion with one another.